A while back, Kessler Crane contacted us and told us that a bunch of Kessler users had asked how we did the motion control test that you can find on Kessler University. So we decided to make this tutorial explaining the post-production part of the video. This is a clip of our web developer Daniel and is shot with a 7D with a shuttle pod and the Oracle controller. If you want to know how to set up the Kessler gear for the shot, you can check out Tom Gilmetti's shuttle pod field test. At about 6 minutes and 30 seconds into the video, he explains everything you need to know to get the exact same shot. Here is the four clips that make up the shot. We use the flash marker on the Oracle to help us sync the clips in post, and we use the belt holder on the Kessler crane as a reference to know where we started. Then we converted the clips to Apple ProRes codec and synced them up in After Effects. The bottom layer is left as it is, so you don't need to do anything with it. The following three layers need a simple roto mask applied to them. The idea is to isolate Daniel in the different shots. You don't need to do a perfect roto mask. A garbage mat type mask will be sufficient to get a good result. Sometimes the shots don't align perfectly. To get around this problem, you should feather the mask. In this case, we've used a 40 pixel feather. As you can see, you don't need to do a lot of keyframing to make it work. So it's a pretty fast workflow. That's all you need to know. We hope this answers all of your questions. Ich bin der Sotilla. Ich bin der Sotilla.